Hey, 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 awesome people. Welcome back. Mr. C here with you. We are in our fraction series. Make sure if you learn anything new at all, click that like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. This video is going to be our practice problems video for mixed numbers. This is our intro to mixed numbers. We are practicing and understanding what a mixed number is and making sure we can see mixed numbers, okay? If you missed the teaching video, it is in the description below. Check it out. Again, this is our practice problems video for mixed numbers. Also in the description below, you will find all of our fractions videos that we have done. We have a ton of fourth grade videos. We have third grade fractions and we have second grade fractions as well. Check those videos out. Again, they are in the description below. There's a playlist for each grade level. Really excited about this video today. Again, we are going to be doing some practice problems for understanding what is a mixed number. Let's try some together. Here we go. Two reminders for you before we do this first one. One, growth mindset. Make sure you have a growth mindset. That means that you are going to use your mistakes to help you get better. You're not going to give up. You're going to look for challenges. And just because you don't know something, that just means that you don't know it yet. So let's work hard, okay? The second thing, I already mentioned it, but I'll mention it again. This is the practice problems video. If you missed the teaching video, check it out. Mixed numbers is something that is new, okay? It's a new thing here in fourth grade. Really important that you understand it because we've got a lot of things mixed numbers coming, okay? So on the screen here, big question I have for you is, what does a mixed number look like? And what we talked about was a mixed number is made up of two things, okay? It's made up of a whole number, which is our number here, and then it's made up of a proper fraction, which we have here. And a proper fraction means that the numerator is smaller than the denominator, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we can see what this looks like, okay? We're gonna draw some models. So make sure you have a pencil, paper, napkins, markers, whatever it is that you have to write on, get it, grab it, get over here. Let's try this first one. Can you read what this mixed number is? Can you say this mixed number? The way you would say it is one and three fifths, okay? One and three fifths. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to draw a model, okay? And I'm gonna start off with a circle for my model, okay? So my whole number is one, so I have one whole okay and i'm going to shade that in because i have the whole thing i'm going to shade it in so for my whole number is one so i've got one hole there's one hole and what we're doing is we are adding this fraction because when you have a mixed number what you're doing is you're taking a whole number and you're taking a fraction and technically you're adding them together and so to show you that Let's draw another circle. You know, it's a little bit different from Mr. C. He usually goes with the rectangles, but you know, I'm trying some new things too. All right, so in this circle, I need to show three fifths. Now that's where the real challenge is gonna come into play here for me. So there's, I need five sections here. Let's see how I do. Oh, that's bad. There we go. Let's see how this looks. One, two, three, four, five. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible either, okay? So I've got five sections. They are not equal, but I need to color in three out of the five. So let's color in three out of the five. There's one. There's two. And there is three. So I colored in three-fifths. There's the fraction. And this is what it would actually look like, okay? And again, your model could be different, okay? You may have used a rectangle. Some of you may have drawn a square. I mean, some of you may have gone crazy and drawn like a hexagon or, you know, whatever it is. But what you need to understand is that a mixed number is made up of a whole number, which is what we have here, one whole. And we are adding the fraction, the proper fraction. And that's what we did. So we've got one whole plus three-fifths. And 
this is probably starting to like make some sense to you and stuff because this is what we've been doing for a while now, right? All the way back in second grade, we were drawing what fractions looked like. What we're doing now in fourth grade is we're just taking what you know about whole numbers and what you know about fractions and we're combining those two things together and making mixed numbers, okay? So pause, ask yourself a couple questions. You know, what is a mixed number? How did we get this model? Make sure your model makes sense. If you made a mistake, find your mistake, okay? Find it, help you figure out where it is, ask some questions if you need to, ask somebody around you, ask a guardian, somebody, and try another problem with me, okay? Let's do another one. All right, here we go. Next one we have on the screen. Can you say it? Can you read it? Pause me and feel free to get started on this one on your own. The way we would say this is five and two thirds, okay? Five and two thirds. And remember, what we technically have here is we have five plus two thirds, okay? You don't see an addition sign there, but that's the best way to kind of remember it. This is five holes and two thirds, okay? Five and two thirds. So let's draw a model here. This time I'm gonna go back to my favorite rectangles. I'm gonna draw some rectangles here. So there's one, I'm gonna draw these. Again, feel free to use a different model. I'm going with the rectangles for mine. Some of you may like to use circles, hexagons, maybe a pentagon. Some of y'all may be going crazy and doing uh, octagon, whatever it is. Make sure your models are the same size and that you are representing five holes, okay? So I've got five hole here. I'm gonna color these in. There's one, two, not staying in the lines very well. Hopefully you're doing better than I am on that. There's my fourth one, and here is my fifth one. All right, would you agree that I have five holes? So technically what we're doing here is we are adding We've got five holes, and we are adding, I'll even write that down here at the bottom, and we're adding the fraction. And in this case, the fraction is two-thirds. So let's represent two-thirds with a model. Break it into three equal sections. Color in two of them. Again, this is a lot of stuff that we've already done in the past, things that we've done in second grade, third grade, even in fourth grade when we've been adding and subtracting fractions. What we're doing is just applying that to mixed numbers, a whole number and a fraction now, okay? So we've got five holes, we've got the fraction, two thirds, and that is what it would look like, ladies and gentlemen, when we say a mixed number. When we say this number five and two thirds, what we mean by that is this picture right here. We mean that we have five holes, whatever that looks like. In our case here, I drew five rectangles. And then we had two thirds of another hole. We had two thirds of a rectangle. We had five whole rectangles. We had two thirds of another rectangle. We add those things together and what do we get? We get a mixed number, okay? Again, this is building on things that we've done for a while now. If you're a little bit confused, make sure you check out down in the description below some of our other grade level playlists. We've got a lot of different videos and fractions that we've covered. Even if it's just a refresher, check those out, okay? Let's try one more here, okay? Try one more with me. Last one on the screen for us here, ladies and gentlemen. Can you say this mixed number three and seven tenths three and seven tenths feel free to pause me try this one on your own we're gonna see draw a model so we can see what this mixed number looks like okay so first thing i notice is the whole number is three so i need to draw three whatever okay i'm gonna draw three rectangles this way again make sure your models are the same size it doesn't matter to me what you draw whether that's circles, rectangles, you could draw pizzas, 
doesn't matter to me. Whatever you draw, make sure they are the same size though, okay? So I've got three holes. I'm gonna color those in. This is my hole number. The big number is what a lot of times you'll hear people say sometimes. But the real term for it is the hole number, okay? If they say the big number, well, we understand what they mean, but say, could you be a little bit more specific? Okay, if you're, you know, what do you mean by the big number? Is it just big? I mean, I can write a big number. Here's a big number. That's a big number, right? I wrote it really big. What we mean by that is the whole number, okay? So here's one, two, three. We've got three holes, and now we need to show our fraction. Notice the numerator is smaller than the denominator, which means this is a proper fraction. And we're going to talk about proper and improper fractions even more in some videos coming very soon. Okay, So let's show 7 tenths here. Draw another model. This one's going to be a little tight. It's going to be a little tough to do. Let's see what we can do here though. So I need to show tenths on here. So there's four. Let's see how I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I drew too many. See, sometimes I even trip myself up doing this stuff. Let me give you another shot here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. That is not great, y'all. I apologize. That's not great. Some of y'all are probably like, holy cow, Mr. C, are you serious? That's a little bit better. Sorry about that. <sighs> Sometimes my drawings aren't that great. I appreciate y'all sticking with me, though. Okay, how many are we coloring in? We're coloring in 7 tenths. So there's 1, there's 2, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths. There it is three holes, one, two, three, there's our whole number. Seven tenths is our fraction. Notice all of our models are the same size. Okay, that's really important for us to be able to visualize it and to show it. If for some reason you drew, you know, a rectangle and a circle, it just makes it hard to really see it. Okay, I always recommend using the same size models all the way through it. Our fraction is 7 tenths, our proper fraction. The numerator is smaller than the denominator, and this is what it looks like when we say 3 and 7 tenths, okay? A lot of things here with mixed numbers. It is something, like I said, it's we've been building towards it for a while, but it is new, okay? Do not give up if it's a challenge. Try some more on your own. Have somebody say a mixed number, and you write it down, and then draw a model. The more we practice, the better we are going to get. If you haven't had a chance, make sure you check out that teaching video for what is, or excuse me, what are mixed numbers. It is in the description below. Check that out, okay? So, if you learned anything new, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. That's all I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. C, out.